Hello again. Today I'm going to make some coasters incorporating lids of your favourite drink, like so. And the idea is to cut out this piece of wood in an hexagonal shape, lower the lids inside, cover them with resin and shape it all off. I'm going to do three of these, one will be Bex, Stella, and my favourite personal one, San Miguel. So, there's lots of ways of doing this. You can actually draw your own hexagon. What I've found is to just basically just go on the internet and put in hexagon shapes. And you'll end up with something like this. This allows you to pick whatever size you want. Now we know that fits. Now all you would have to do is draw around that. Uh, we know it fits fine. What I've done is made myself a template. Personally, if you want a bigger one, you can go bigger. If you want smaller, go smaller. But that's just a nice size for the bottle wine glass to fit on top. So once you've got your shape, draw around it. I've made myself a little template, like I say, just a bit of cardboard. Bring your wood in. You can use any wood. This was actually a bit of shelving of a DVD stand, and I've got six of these. So I'm going to make three today, like I say, with the different beers. Once you've got your template done, just place it on there. Bit of sellotape, bit of sellotape. Just get yourself a pencil. You don't have to draw around it all, because basically all you want to do is that corner, that corner. Can we call them corners? That piece here, that piece there, that piece here, and that piece here. And that would be the start. And just get yourself a ruler and just join your lines up like so. And then you're on your way to making your coaster shape. Obviously that would go all the way around. Once you've got that on there, it'll end up looking like that. And we know that fits because it's the right size. What we do is go down to the workshop and we're going to route out this second bit, uh, sorry, the middle bit, enough, yep, that's a runner, enough so we can lower those inside. And then we're going to get clear resin and fill all this in with resin. And hopefully these should nicely stay in place. So let's go down to the workshop and start rooting this out. Once it's rooted out, we'll sink it in, and then we'll use a scroll saw, and we'll cut around the edges, and hopefully we'll have a nice coaster, beer mat, I don't know what you call whatever you want to call it. So let's go down to the workshop. Right, we've got our bit inside. This is quite a big, straight-edged, I want to say double blade. I'll be honest with you guys, I have no idea what they call these pieces. It just comes in a kit form, but it works for me. So I've set my depth at that. Your best way to do that is just to put your wood along the side, and you can see basically what you've got to play with. You may as well take in smaller bits off more often than going straight in for the kill and coming out the other side. So I'll start off on this one now, and we'll get moving on. Okay, and you can see the general idea we're going for. I've actually gone in a little bit too deep to start this off with, so she's struggling. So I'm going to just lift it up slightly. Like I said, you're better off taking small bits off more often than putting a lot of strain on the machine. But I'll continue with this one and come back when I'm finished. Right, that's all cut out nicely. We'll just see if these do fit in. 
So obviously the idea is to get those in there. And what we do is surround them with resin, let them set, and we shouldn't be shouldn't be far off. Now you know you're clear. I've had a level across here, and it's just enough clearance to coat it with resin. What we're doing next is get the straw saw out, fret saw, and we'll cut all around this and give it a little sand down. And then I think we're basically on for, for doing the resin. So let's crack on with this. Right, this is all ready for cutting out now. So we'll get this cut out and we we'll move on to the next stage. Okay, as you can see from that, it's cut out nicely. We're just going to get a little Dremel, a little sanding paper. Just sand them sides off. And that's basically about finished on that. So we'll wait on and then uh, start putting the resin and putting the caps inside. Right, that's all complete. What I've decided to do is I'm going to put on some Danish oil. Just to darken that wood. You can paint these. There's coloured resin, which I also have. You could put the coloured resin in the base of that. Because I like the wood effect, I'm basically just going to put on the Danish. And that is a case of just throwing it on. And you'll see the difference here straight away, look. Like so. So I'll finish this off. And then we'll come back. And then what we do... We'll start throwing in these caps. I'll show you how to go on with the resin. So I'll, I'll continue with this. Right, we're all ready for the resin now. So we've got your one, got the two, and we've got our three. And there's our three little coasters that we're going to do today. Now, there's a lot of ways of doing this. Some like to super glue these in first. Or you could put a thin layer of resin and then set them in. Because if you just pour resin straight on top of these, as they are, these caps will pop up. So you, somehow you've got to stick them in. What I'm going to try and do is just pour a little bit of resin in between each one. And then I'm going to set a glass on top, a bit of weight, just to hold them down. And then we'll leave it for the day. And then we'll come back tomorrow and then we'll fill them up. It's the safest and best way to do it. Okay, let's get those to one side. The resin I'm going to use is amazing clear cast. This stuff is beautiful. I love it. You have a resin and an hardener. A and B could be the other way around. And you mix this by volume. So you need yourself a couple of little containers. And all I do is mark off one. For the resin, mark off one for the hardener. Mix exactly the same amount and then just transfer it into a third one. The good thing about this resin is you could even mix a small amount in that. And if you haven't made enough, you can mix a little bit more. So I'll throw these bits in together, get this mixed up, and then we'll pour it into the coaster. Right, we've mixed that up now. Follow the instructions on the packaging because every resin is different. 
I give it a good mix now. Wear gloves, of course, like so. So what I'm going to try and do is feed this round. Personally, I think I should just put a little bit in the bottom and set these in. But what I've done, if you notice, I've got the pattern going round. A little bit of OCD kicking in. So it's going to be easy just to pour in between. All I use are plastic forks, knives, spoons, and that gives you a little spoon at the back like that so we can throw it in. So we're going to fill all these in now and then get some weight. I'm going to use these nice big glasses and we're going to sit those on there like that afterwards, like so. And that's just going to hold those caps in place should they decide to pop up. So we'll start filling this in now. It's a slow process, so don't rush. Okay, you get the general idea. So I'll continue and fill all these in. Right, we've gone around all those now with some resin. I don't know if you can see it in there. You don't want a lot, just enough to keep it in place. And I'm gonna let that set. And hopefully it will stop them popping up. So what we're gonna do now is put these to one side. And like I say, get a nice glass. Just set it on there. Let it set, and we'll top these up. Right, we've left them overnight. They've all set nice and solid. They're not going to go anywhere. I've mixed up the next batch of resin. Exactly the same way, 50-50. It's all mixed, ready to go. So now all we're going to do now is fill these over, level with the wood. Now you can see I've got such a small clearance on top of those caps. I'm a little concerned I might not have enough clearance, but we'll pour this on now. It's just a case of getting it on, it'll find its own level, like so. Try and do one at a time because if you run out, you don't be running out, running out halfway through. Now that'll find its own level. So I'll fill these three in and we'll come back. Right, they're all nicely filled up now. I don't know if you can see from there. What we need to do now is get a heat gun. I'm going to use a lighter thing like this. And basically just go over the top. And all you're doing with this is releasing the air bubbles that's going to be in the resin. If you had a pressure pot, you could throw them in there and that would take all the air bubbles out. I don't have a pressure pot. So, do the old way and just keep going over this. Come back in five, ten minutes, give it another go. And hopefully it should make it all nice and clear like so. That was the second batch and you can see the difference and how clear that is. So I'll work on this one and get rid of some of them bubbles and then we'll leave that to set. None of them's popped up, so that's good. Uh, we're more or less finished here now. I'll continue with this one at the end and then we'll leave them. Come back tomorrow. Always give it 24 hours to set. Some say 12, 24, go 48 if you can. And then we'll see what we've ended up with. If you're still with me, well done. 
Right, that's this project finished now. The resin's all gone in nicely. I'll try and get a bit of a reflection on there so you can see that. The San Miguel one came out perfect. If they were all like that, I would have been really pleased. Well, this was mixed out the same batch, but as you can see, it's a little bit cloudy in the middle. Might just be me being picky, and there is a lot of little bubbles in there. The only way you're going to get rid of these bubbles if you had a pressure chamber or pressure pot. You basically would put these inside and it sucks all the air bubbles out, as simple as that. I don't have that. But as far as this project goes, they're fine. They're all solid. They're not going to go anywhere. If you wanted to be picky, you can buy rubber little feet things to go on here. I'm not too bothered for this project. Okay, thank you very much for watching. There's only one thing left to do now. Cheers everybody. This one's mine.